How do you know when it's time to turn your freelancing career into a social media marketing agency? Hi, I'm Christy, the social media manager here at Loomly, and we're diving into how to know if starting an agency is right for you, what you need to get started, defining your processes, increasing your clients, and building your team. When evaluating if you wanna transition your social media freelance business into an agency, here are some factors to consider. What does your current client load look like? As a solo freelancer, even if you raise your rates, there's always a cap on how many clients you can take on at one time. If you're finding a greater demand for your services than you're able to fulfill, maybe it's time to scale your business. If you have the experience to take the next step and you see a gap in the industry that you're able to fill, maybe it's time to start an agency. Whether you're able to niche down and specialize on a specific service or you see opportunities to meet a specific need, your expertise could be exactly what you need to start a successful agency. Solo freelancing can be an isolating work experience. If you're missing that collaborative team energy, building an agency could be the perfect solution. If you have the financial padding to fall back on and you're just feeling ready to take the leap, this could also be a great time to start an agency. This way, even if you have a slow few months in the beginning, you're set up for success in the long run. If you've decided that starting an agency is the right career move, here's how to actually get started. The first step is to determine your niche. One way to do this is by imagining your ideal client. What kind of business do they have? What would your work look like? What social media platforms would you be focusing on? Regardless of what you choose, it's important to play to your strengths when starting an agency instead of experimenting with businesses that you don't have experience with. Once you've decided your niche, it's time to build out your list of services. Here are some services to consider. While keeping in mind you can always add on services later, offering different packages with tiered pricing can be helpful for getting clients through the door. That way you can scale your services while they scale their businesses. Now that you've figured out your services, let's choose your prices. Because working with an agency tends to be a more premium experience, you can typically charge more than you did as a freelancer. Start by pulling together a list of your expected monthly business expenses, including any tools and equipment and salaries or contractor invoices, as a way to see how much your agency needs to bring in in order to break even. From there, try to do some competitor research to see what similar agencies are charging. You want your prices to reflect the quality of your services while still remaining competitive. Once you've put all these pieces into the equation, you should have an idea of what you'll want to charge your clients. Next, let's dive into the logistics of switching from freelance to agency. The first is setting up your business legally. There are a few different types of business structures or classifications to consider. A sole proprietorship is an unincorporated business run by a single person with no distinction between owner and company. A general partnership or limited partnership are two different options here and can be a good idea if you plan to start your agency with one or more additional partners. A limited liability company or LLC is a business that separates the owner from the company providing some protection for the business owner. There are also many different types of corporations, S Corp, B Corp, C Corp, and these establish the business as a legal entity. If you're not sure which option is right for you, speaking to a local small business lawyer can be extremely valuable. If you already have your freelancing business set up as a corporation or LLC, you may be able to use that to start your agency. However, if you're changing your business name, it may be easier to set up an entirely different LLC rather than setting up a DBA, doing business as trade name. Here are some other business steps you'll want to consider. Creating business bank accounts, opening up a business credit card, updating your website to match your new agency, and writing up a sound business plan. You'll also want to standardize and document your processes so that they can be replicated. From your freelancing experience, you probably already have processes in place that work perfectly. In the next couple of steps, you'll be building up a team for your agency and they'll need those processes to be documented. Creating standard operating procedures or SOPs for various tasks will ensure consistency across the agency. You'll also wanna standardize your client experience and having brand templates is a great way to do this. That's why we've created free Canva templates that you can download and customize for your brand. You can find a social media strategy roadmap, client onboarding packet, quarterly analytics reporting, and more on the loomly.com website and also linked in the description below. You'll also want to create the right tech stack for your agency. While you can always test new tools down the road, you'll want to have the basics set up. 
Some of the basics might include accounting software like QuickBooks or Wave, CRM like MailChimp or Keep, communication tools like Slack or Google Workspace. And of course, you'll need a social media management platform like Loomly to juggle all your client accounts and schedule social media content in advance. With Loomly, you can manage multiple client calendars in one platform, plus schedule posts in advance to publish across all of your clients' social media channels. You can also white label our tool with your logo and branding and automate reports to make client management more professional and seamless. The most important part of starting an agency is making making sure you have enough clients to keep your doors open. A great place to start is to meet with your existing client base and transfer as many as possible over to your new agency. Some clients prefer a one-on-one -on -one experience. They may prefer working with just you, or they may not be able to afford your new agency pricing. Once you've touched base with your existing clients, you'll have a better idea of how many new clients you might need. Start outreach from your new agency, explaining the change and share information about any new services you may be offering. An important aspect of gaining new clients will be to create case studies from previous work you've done. We also have a free case study template that you can customize. It's linked in the description below. You can interview your clients for specific quotes and reviews and showcase the results you've achieved. Some other ways you can expand your own agency marketing efforts are through email newsletters, social media posts, valuable blog content, and through expanding your LinkedIn network. When it comes to building your team for your new agency, you have a couple of options. You can either hire full-time employees or you could run a solo agency and work with part-time contractors. If you choose the solo route and scale as you go, a great starting contractor would be to hire a virtual assistant. That way you can delegate smaller, menial tasks while you focus on strategic and creative work. As you grow, here are some other roles you might need. Account manager, social media strategist, graphic designer, and video editor. A final reminder as you evaluate this agency transition, building your agency team is going to take time. Be smart about hiring and investing in tools with tiered plans so that they can scale with you. Loomly does exactly that as our customers range from solo social media managers to enterprise businesses. You can try Loomly for free for 15 days at loomly.com and also linked in our description below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more social media education.